hello everyone uh, welcome back uh, so we have covered most of the part in uh, video 1 and video 2 part 1 part 2 and uh, now we will move further like how we can add uh, pivot table how we can go with the uh, slicers how we can add report connections that we will learn today uh, in this particular excel uh, escalation dashboard so guys please uh, share subscribe the channel and also uh, share your feedback if you really like the video so help me with more viewers uh, so that I can uh, uh, teach as much as people possible uh, in their careers. So let's start with the new point. Uh, so here what we will do, we will just uh, add uh, pivot table. So I will select all the data. I will go to insert and I have option of pivot table. And I will click on OK. Now in the bottom sheet 2, I will rename it to pivot table for safer site done now I got this pivot table first first I want the total escalation count so what I'll do I'll just collect take the count in the row and same I'll take the count values uh, count in the values so I'll get the total uh, count like how many escalations we have received so this count actually will show the valid escalations like how many valid escalations we have received so if there are any rebuttals or anything definitely we will remove that escalation from our dashboard we will not keep that uh, in our raw data correct yes now so here it is uh, the total count now i want this count in this particular place okay so what i'll do uh, first here i'll click equal to in any of the cell equal to go to pivot table and select the grand total value and enter so automatically we will get this uh, 40 here so and I'll just give some basic design I'll go to insert then shape uh, I will select a certain shape here so it will cover it so what I'll do I'll just uh, right click and fill none done and inside I'll just this uh, arrange it in the proper order I'll just increase the size and almost done okay and I'll okay and just okay I'll paste it in that some places so you can design it uh, as per your uh, wish guys so now this 40 is available here how this 40 will change and uh, is this automatically get changed or not that we will see make sure you have added your raw data in a table format you have aligned it under the table so uh, what I'll do I'll just add one more escalation below to this don't go with the values and all just I'm checking either it's working or not I'll just refresh it so here I'm getting count as 41 and automatically my uh, this count will also get changed so I hope this is very easy uh, to do this uh, again I'm removing my last line because it's uh, not required and okay it's not required control s save save you basically use it guys every time whenever you add a single details or multiple it is refresh it automatically it will get converted into 40 now next what i want i want team lead wise details here team lead wise escalations here so for that i'll go to pivot table again i'll just copy paste this first pivot make sure guys you are taking the entire thing sometimes what happened people used to miss with some like for an example if you have added uh, weekends in the associate id in filter people what do just go with this column and copy paste here but guys this will not work see you, you will not uh, get the details in the pivot table format so make sure whatever things are available in this particular pivot table for this single particular pivot table we will copy paste the same here okay but here i, I don't want the associate id i just gave the example so i'll just copy paste the same why i'm doing it i'll tell you guys uh, in some time so now i want team leader name so where is the team leader here it is and I want team leader count so like how many escalation team leader received so I just want count now this is not in the ascending order or descending under format I'll just select the uh, all the values I'll go to home in the last I have option of sort I'll just keep it largest to smallest done it's very easy now I will select this data will not go with the grand total because that will also that we will not include in the graph 
go to sorry uh, go to insert go to recommended chart you will find multiple chart here uh, directly you can go to bar chart many many column chart so i'll just go with first column chart okay i don't want this right click hide values from the buttons even i don't want this i will hide this also right now i will just change some shapes i click on paste button go to the bottom i'll select this design now i will rename it to team lead wise team lead wise uh, escalation count okay i just rename it uh, i don't want grid lines this lines i don't want i just remove the grid lines next i don't want this legend also this total okay but i want data table uh, the count here so i'll just uh, click on uh, the graph make sure all the graph should get selected so what happened here if you click double now it will just select the single one single uh, graph uh, this bar but if you remove and if you click on uh, single click here automatically it will select all the uh, bars and just click on data labels okay i got the data labels as well i got team leader name everything is sorted and here it's showing like 12 now it's not looking a uh, good in a professional way so i'll just keep this i'll just double click here if you double click here automatically this will get open and maximum i will keep till 15 okay it's up to you guys how many escalation if you are receiving 100 escalation 200 escalation it's up to you guys what you required make sure you will keep it in a uh, some proper way okay now almost done i'll copy this graph i will paste this graph here okay i will resize it okay i will just resize it as per my as per your requirement guys in what way you want the data okay done and now this team lead details got updated here now next what i want i want slicer so you can go with any of the pivot table any of the pivot table just go to click on any of the pivot table so that this analyze part will get visible otherwise what happen if you click on uh the side of this uh, pivot tables this analyze part will not get visible so click on any of the pivot table click on analyze you will find insert slicer so what kind of slicers we required we required internal external we do required month uh we do required uh, let, let's let's this take this two first okay i will resize it okay august and september again i will resize it make sure guys if in, in anything blank is coming then right click go to slicer setting and see here hide item with no data okay just click on this this is just an option like in what way we require the details if you want in ascending to descender descending whatever you want you can choose that same i will go with uh, right click slicer setting hide no values data which means if we don't have any values then it will show us the exact where we have the values i'll just select this two go to dashboard see i have monthly here right i do have external internal here so i'll just remove this i will paste it near to this external and internal okay wait wait a minute i'll remove everything so that it will be easy for us to check okay i'll keep this external internal here i want this month also Okay. Sorry, it got wrong. It is there. Give me one minute. I want this month as well. Oh, I got this month. Ah, okay, fine. I'll paste it here. Now, if I click on this now, my data should get changed. See, team leads details are getting changed. Like how many external are there? How many internal there? If I want to just check August month data, August month how many internal external there? I can check. I want overall. I can check the overall also. If you click on this filter button, it will give you the overall count. I want September month escalation. I can check. So even internal and external, it's up to you. But this 40 is not getting changed, right? For that, what we will do? Right click. Right click. We will do report connection and select the first pivot table. Okay. Same do do with the. the another pivot table also done now if you see if you change now uh, this will